Hey guys, how you going? Johnny here again, and this is part two of mastering the histogram in Lightroom. And you can see we're still working on the image here from Cannibal Bay. If you didn't catch um, the first part of this lesson, I've broken it up into two because it is, a, is quite a long topic. There's a few things I wanted to cover. Um, here's the link to that now. So go and check that out if you haven't seen it, guys. All right, let's get stuck into part two. But before I get started, I just want to have a quick chat to you about um, my Lightroom Essentials course here. Lightroom Essentials for landscape photographers. And as you can see by the banner, you can become a Lightroom expert overnight. So basically I created this course for landscape photographers. I've taken many Lightroom courses over the years, guys, and none of them have been specifically related to landscape photography. So um, please check that out if you're interested. It's at johnnyspencer.com slash L-R-E. Awesome, let's get into it. All right, so you can see we're here in Lightroom. I've got Lightroom 5, but pretty much the same in Lightroom 4 as well, these techniques. Um, all right, let's get started. So in the first lesson, we actually covered what these little, little fellas here do. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the quickest way to balance your histogram. Um, I've given you a brief overview in the, in the first lesson about the histogram too, if you're a little unsure. So please go and check that out if you haven't seen that video. All right guys, so basically you can see here as I hover over the different sections of the histogram, look down in this section here, the highlight shadows and exposure and the whites and blacks. You look, so this area here, you can see it's highlighting the blacks. This area here is highlighting the shadows. This area here, is highlighting the exposure. This area here is highlighting the highlights and this little area at the end is the whites. So guys, the quickest way, and this is the quickest way to balance your histogram and I do this every time I bring my image in first and you can see this image is actually overexposed guys and you can see it's overexposed by how much, how much of the um, luminosity is in this area of the histogram. So you can see a lot of it is in the highlights area and the whites area. So the first thing I think, this thing needs an overall exposure change. So what I'm gonna do is if I hover over the middle section and I can just easily bring down that exposure by dragging to the left. And you can see it drag to the left, just like the histogram. The left side of the histogram is all the dark colors and the right side is all the, all the lighter colors. So if I drag to the left, I'm bringing down that exposure there. So you can see, this is such a quick way to balance the histogram, guys. You don't even have to worry about the sliders down here. I can just look at the histogram and go, yep, that's looking a little overexposed, bring that down. Okay, let's have a look at the shadows. Maybe bring the shadows up a touch there, try and balance that out. But what I want to do is set the white and black point. And you can see both those triangles are selected there. And what I'm looking for is blue starting to come into my image. So if I highlight the left hand side you can see it's going to highlight the black slider there and once i click down and move to the left i'm adding more black into the image making more of those darker tones and you can see i hit a point there where you start to see blue on the screen on the right hand side of the image there near the headland and that's basically telling me that that's full black there's black in that image and guys don't be afraid to set a decent black point you know this is what makes your your, your image nice and contrasty and please don't don't be afraid to set a black point you know, add, add a bit of true black, it doesn't hurt. So I'm gonna turn that off now. All right, so that's the blacks done. Now you can see up this part of the histogram, we've got a bit of room here from the end, so we can push that up to, to the whites a bit further as well. So I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna click in this area. You can see Lightroom saying that this is the slider that's gonna be affected, the white slider, and I've got the top triangle there turned on, and what I'm looking for is a red color to come through. So I'm gonna to drag to the right till I see some reds, and once I see some reds, I'm just gonna back off slightly till I don't see much red anymore. And that's it, guys. I've just set the white and the black point and balanced the histogram all in one go. And it took a few minutes, I know, because I've talked you through and explained it, but honestly, guys, I find that the quickest way to balance a histogram in the image, or balance your exposure, I should say, in your image, um, after you do it a couple of times, honestly, um, within a couple of minutes, you'll look at that histogram and you'll, you'll know exactly what what areas you need to adjust. So that's it guys, that's been part two of Mastering the Histogram in Lightroom. And uh, please go and check out my course, Lightroom Essentials for Landscape Photographers if you're interested. Um, I'd be much appreciated. All right guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.